My name is Max Grow. 30 years old. Going vegan for a month. Really, I'm doing it for a couple reasons. One is a, a better understanding of the vegan culture and diet. I also wanted to see if I could do it. I like challenging myself sometimes, seeing how long I can let my hair grow, seeing how long I can hold my breath, about a minute and a half, and I'm a smoker, which is pretty good. And uh, really, the third reason is just to spite you. What I'm looking to do in this month is to live as a vegan and really put myself in there. I don't want to just live off Oreos, Swedish fish, and potatoes for a month. I like cooking. I want to be able to cook some vegan options, and this is a good way to up my repertoire. As far as, you know, am I going to be any healthier at the end of the 30 days? I don't know. I'm not doing this to like, you know, be healthy or anything. I kind of just want to show you that I can be a better vegan than you. <laughs> I signed on with a mutual friend to work on a short. Don't do it. I knew everybody that was working on it except for one guy by the name of Justin Russell. The weekend before said short, he's throwing a big barbecue at my house, and lo and behold. Why don't we start with your name? I'm Justin. <laughs> Nice to meet you. We were just working together all the time after that. I would met you right when I was training for my first marathon. I hadn't changed my diet at all. I was still eating McDonald's and a bunch of other shit. And I remember how bad I felt after I ran my first one. So I was like, something's got to change here. I've been vegan for three years. I buy 40 pounds of bananas every week and a half or something like that. I've never had a cigarette, and I don't drink. When I switched to a vegan, the plant-based diet, it was like everything has just changed for me because my endurance and running got better. Basically, my sleep patterns got better. My focus at work got better. It just exceeded what I thought would happen on the diet. So that's why I went for you. Boring. Over the next 30 days, Max will be abstaining from all foods that were derived from an animal. That includes all meat, dairy, and eggs. We're gonna be paying extra close attention to labels. With my help, he will be replacing everything he is used to with a plant-based diet. There is a stigma with vegans. And blend. I think most people, you say vegan and they think immediately like a dreadlocked Birkenstock wearing hippie. Sunken eyes, emaciated, weird skin, no shine to their hair, on the verge of death. But, you know, I I'm gonna be vegan. I'm fat vegan. There might not be a lot of us, but they're out there. I think we're gonna hit up Whole Foods and get something to cook for lunch. Is it weird my stomach's growling as we pass this cattle? <laughs> I actually don't eat a lot of red meat, but I love cooking like hamburgers, man. I like burgers. My last meal, I guess, was a small, thin, all meaty pizza that I fished out of the trash at <laughs> and ate cold trash pizza. There was also a, like a used half-eaten garlic butter cup in there that I devoured with the pizza. Oh man, look at that color. This is a drastic change. I can foresee myself going through some withdrawal. Like if you had to eat meat for 30 days, be hard, right? Because you, you crave that organic vegetable in your mouth. Just like I want bacon grease running down my chin. My favorite time. I can last the 30 days. I'm disciplined when it's, uh, you know, fueled by spite. But uh, I'm sure I'll be cooking a pound of bacon a month from now. That's I'm almost positive. This stuff is great. I make sloppy joes with this, and you can put it in lasagnas and all kinds of good stuff.
I just think it's, it's funny how hyped you are about this. You're like, this is cool. This is cool. I wouldn't ever describe health stuff as cool, but, you know, to each his own. To each his own. Max was always a creative kid from the get-go. He was enthusiastic about cooking from a young age. Look at the color of these things. Max is an excellent cook. He can prepare pretty good-sized meals and pretty tasty meals. He's always been really good at that. Just to see how that opens up. You get every clove. I definitely want to learn more about cooking vegan and think that I can add a little bit to the party flavor-wise and in vegan cooking, and I'm excited to learn more about it. Kosher salt, literally a pinch. Some fresh cracked black pepper. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-season when they come out. I'll chop them a little and mix them with a little of this roasted garlic. Who is it? It is, yes. Nice to see you. I knew you would come by, too. Oh, I always come by. For my vegan diet. Yeah, those are nuts. I hope you enjoy them. I'm gonna enjoy your nuts. Thanks, buddy. No that is th very thoughtful. Yes. Let's we'll see some of the other shit I got. I'm roasting up some garlic. These egg golden beets. Are you gonna make eggplants? I'm gonna grill some eggplant and shit. That's cool. How long have you done mass? Like six years. Six years. Six. Is this weird to, to know Max as a person and think that he's doing this? Or? No, I, I think it's great. I'm very glad that it's happening. I think it's pretty rad. And radical. Or radical and rad. That's both. Huge plate of vegetables to grill. It looks like summer out here. It doesn't quite feel like it. Grilling's like sex. You gotta keep her hot, keep her clean, and keep her lubricated. Got some cumin in there, red pepper on everything. Tiny bit of canola oil, aerosol style. Saltless. It's good. I guess. Would you cook this kind of vegetables with meat? Absolutely. It's like a standard, for sure. I cook vegetables a lot. Um, a lot more salt and oil than you probably would, and I'm gonna try to curb some of that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I cook all around. Because, like, right now, I'm excited to eat this. I'm hungry. I want to eat it. It's gonna be good. You know, but, uh, I mean, later in the night, especially if I'm around people eating meat, I'm gonna want some of that. And if then I'm stuck with, like, hummus. <laughs> While they're chowing down on meat, it'll suck. It, it'll suck. I am uh, headed to hang out with some longtime friends. We get together on a monthly basis and uh, play Dungeons and Dragons, like an old poker game. You're still trapped within the ice cave. Yeah, you um, but you've got, you open the middle room and saw just a, just a host of enemies in there. Uh, Seth dropped the song. How do you guys feel about him going vegan? Yeah, interesting. I think it's gonna be a challenge. All right, where you guys want to order from? Should we just get like pepperoni? Any, any yeah. Yeah. Double bacon bag cheese. Bag it's a, a, a full oh, pepperoni pizza okay. Okay. that I can keep over there for me, and I'll pay for it. My main fear going into the month would be acceptance with my current social group. I brought my own vegan lunch. I made hummus. Oh my god. Yeah. That's the next step. My friends are as close as, as my family. I'm gonna mark him, I'm gonna spit in his fucking face. Yeah! Sometimes even closer. I'm gonna use my standard to ready my action for if someone comes through that door, I'm gonna stand, I'm just gonna pound him. Bash them on the head with me, hammer! I have been friends with Max pretty much our entire lives. I actually don't remember the first time we met. He's been one of those people you've just always been friends with as long as you remember. How long have you known Max for? Um... You were little, bro. 20, uh, 20, 20, 20 years. years. Probably about 20. Yeah. We didn't really ever start hanging out till maybe the last 10, no, though. Once, uh... You were kind of a little douchebag. He was a... <laughs> <laughs> you 
I still regularly hang out with people that I went to kindergarten with. Which is cool. It's very cool. Sausage and jalapenos and onions. One thing I've brought to the table in my social group is being able to provide a good big meal for people to share. Cooking brings people together and that's really important to me. I'm always cooking for big groups, whether it be us going down camping or watching all three Lord of the Rings films with a Hobbit menu. And I guess my fear is being able to cook completely vegan and have them enjoy it. I guarantee there's some people won't even try it. So it's gonna be interesting. My parents gave us some leftover Halloween candy from Trick or Treat. Is it vegan? Uh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think there's anything vegan in there. For breakfast on day two, I've got some steel cut oats, some dried cranberries, and a nanner. I would have no problem pounding like four eggs, <clears throat> half a pound of bacon, a couple pieces of toast, and a glass of milk. But there's a little tiny bowl of oatmeal is defeating me. I feel sick. It was great. <sighs> if the oatmeal is defeating you and it's half the calories isn't that a cool thing that you can get filled up on that kind of stuff and then save so much? I mean, you'll be losing weight. <laughs> you care at all? Not really. <laughs> Potential gained health is not at all important. Honestly, right now, I mean, no, not, not particularly. I just don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I have an addictive personality. I'm definitely addicted to sugars. Cigarettes, definitely found out I'm addicted to weed. So I'm gonna make a one-hitter out of a baby carrot. This body is amazing, but it's like, how much can it take? How much can I give it? Now we're just gonna hollow out this part. So you're, you're trying to beat your body? It's getting beat. Vegan one-hitter. There's probably some things I might adopt that I learned, you know, this month. But uh, I don't know, it's gonna take a lot to change this mindset. I'm really stubborn. So, I don't know, we'll see. What's up, buddy? Is he cooking down there? No. Was that you cooking down there? No. Something's cooking, dude. You don't smell that? No. Let me pee. Yeah, something's cooking. I can smell it. Max was always a little bit left of center. Uh, just a little different. He was funny, a good storyteller, imaginative. You know, we always had like a costume box going on. Went through the period for a year he had on cowboy boots. I mean, for a whole year. It was disgusting. We had to cut them off of him. He just always has tickled me. I think he's just a cool person. Said from a mom, but I mean. <laughs> he's always been himself which is probably like the ultimate cool. It always came really naturally to him. So yeah, he always had a lot of friends. He always had this broad range of friends. Like in high school, he was friends with football players and the nerds and the drama people, you know, the stoners, like everybody. People just gravitate towards him. It's hard not to. He's pretty great. He's definitely everyone's favorite person, I think. He was kind of just like he is now. Max 
Max went off to Columbia after high school to study film. I was gonna pursue acting in, in college and I went to Chicago for, because of that. When we were registering for classes, there was all these little lines and each major had a different section. The line for acting was, was through the fucking door. But since 85% of the school was film, there's like six different areas you can go for film. And these kids were just getting in and out. And I literally made the decision right there. I was like, fuck this line. I'm just going to go s schedule these film classes. So I changed my major right there. But I didn't go back to Chicago. Did some time at Ohio State. And that's when I decided that I was just going to take the money Ohio State had already given to me, which I was supposed to pay back having withdrawn. But instead, I bought a Sony DCR VX2000, which was pretty much a, it was a pretty sweet prosumer camera at the time, and uh, shot a horror movie called Bloody Mary. Kelly, you killed my friend. It wasn't me, it was her. She came out of the mirror. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. There's like 19 death scenes and three sets of boobs. all friends that had never made movies before. That was about 10 years ago. And a couple months ago, I just finished paying for it from the debt incurred from credit cards. And, and also I had to pay OSU back. We're shooting a teaser trailer for Bond the Dead. I'm uh, constructing a zombie hand here. We started working on Bong of the Living Dead almost 10 years ago now. As soon as we finished Bloody Mary, we, uh, we started shooting around some zombie movie ideas, and that was the, kind of the genesis of it. It's about weed and zombies. Max has had leadership qualities all his life. People want to be around Max. People want to work on his projects. What's the fog? He has the ability to ask for people to help, and people want to say yes. I made Max a snack, honey crisp apples with a little bit of cinnamon. That's it, nothing else. I swear, I swear, nothing else. These are actually awesome. Like, honey crisp apples with cinnamon. I can't wait to go home and cut up the rest of my apples and coat them in cinnamon. Does anyone else want to try? They're good. They're awesome. I want him to do yeah, well, yeah, we just need because I want him to be yeah. doing know. this kind of twisted shit for a, a very long time, you know, like maybe another 50 or 60 years. <laughs> Max, I did hear on Dr. Oz that for every, like, 30 pounds you lose, you'll gain an inch. What, are you dick? Yes, because your belly goes down and you can get well, to I can it stand a girl about six inches, then. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling you Tripod. That's right. <laughs> Hello? Hey, where are you at? I'm uh, heading to Tim's. You, you should turn around. You need to turn around and come back here, down by, uh, by Weber, the Superfood Mart, Weber and I. It's bad. I can't believe you're gonna go get some of this and pound it in front of me. Is that banana pudding up on top of there? No, mashed potatoes. Oh, Are your mashed potatoes vegan? No, nothing Sorry. good is vegan. Are your mashed potatoes vegan? Certainly not. Wow, that's <laughs> Certainly not. That's a great answer, too. Like, I would hope not. <laughs> My dick has felt like this in years. I'm half mass right now. I feel weak. I literally feel weak right now. I'm weak, willed, and physically weak. I'm gonna go schlep over to Subway and get a fucking veggie sub. Oh man. This bad.
sub, double meat. Strike that. No meat. Are you eating that chicken? How's it smell? Dude, it's not so much the smell. It's that this weighs about the amount of something that I would want in my stomach, and this weighs nothing. When you get food and it weighs this heavy, when it's like full four pounds of food, I don't care how good it is, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in there. This is gonna shit out in a minute. Like just, let's go, let's go to Tim's. I got the delicious half bird, drizzled in delicious herbed honey, biscuits, Mashed potatoes. I got spinach, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, <laughs> olive, pickle, jalapeno, and spicy brown mustard. It's a salad with bread wrapped around it. This is the worst it's been. But this is like sure. an alcoholic drinking like fake wine or like O'Doul's and just like. It is. It's like, oh, I bought this. It must be unhealthy for me. <laughs> just so you know, I am not going to eat all of this in one sitting. Do you would? He would have gotten a whole bird. I would have gotten the whole thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a half bird, so. You, you order by the chicken? size of the animal? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they. So the portion of the animal. It's the breast, the thigh. The leg, the wing. It's a traditional thing to do. Half the bird. Half bird. They get, take the get, they take the <laughs> they take the innards out and they cut the head off. I think the next documentary is he's just gonna eat meat. Yeah, make That's Justin do the back of the live like, like me. Mm. It would be Justin puking for like <laughs> three. Minutes. It would basically be super <laughs> sexy. It would be at McDonald's. He's gained lots of weight. And no. I'm sad. My sandwich is gosh. Yeah. I am pretty excited to be eating Chipotle. And I'm excited to, like, be able to go to a restaurant. You know, satiate a little uh, mental craving along with my physical hunger. I used to be addicted to McDonald's, no joke. What was your poison? Like, double quarter pounder, two large no fries. Way. Large you can't, orange I see. I'm not kidding. Dude, I can't. You can't even eat that much. I did. That was years ago. I have no desire to eat McDonald's at all. Yeah, it's that conditioning. Exactly. But is that, that's kind of cool though, right? A little bit that like, you know, you can maybe in this month, you won't be stopping at those fast food restaurants anymore. Well, I don't think I would be at all. Yeah. No maybes about it, bro. No, no, no. I mean like after the month. Oh yeah, for sure. That you'll go back? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> so what are you going to get here? Veggie burrito. I know you're going to want me to get the brown rice, but I don't know, man. You need to. What <sighs> what beans are you going to get? You can't get the pork. You can't get the, the, the pinto. Good for you. I know my food, bro. I'm good at eating. I can't even, I can't even think right now. I'm literally, I'm literally drooling. Can we please eat, Justin? Can we please go in there? <laughs> please. <laughs> I put yours in here. That one I grabbed as a distraction really vividly while I stole the Tabasco. Did you really? Yeah, I tried to. I need some. I got all the sauces, bro. Did you? Yeah. A little of so each. So you just got a sodium bomb. Yeah. All right. Right now, I need every vice I can get. Sugars, sodium, weed. I'm gonna take my vices when I can get them. But if it's allowed by law, I'm gonna do it. Because I live my life on the edge. Most people say I roll with my shit off safety. What's up, Vince? Hi, Max. Got my vegan chipotle. Nice. You didn't want to come to Chipotle? No. No, I had Chipotle two days ago, so I went to Burger King. It's off your Roto? You went yeah. to Burger King? Burger King. What'd you get? Pounded a chicken sandwich. 
add bacon. Yeah. Yeah, it was delicious. Very edible. Why is that? What? That is so good. Day six being vegan, almost one week. That my week marker, I get to eat beef, right? No. No. It's day seven. Day eight. End of day nine. I don't know what day it is. That's a beautiful morning. Hey, partner. Uh, brought you some vegan sausage. Gross. <laughs> Breakfast. Vegans are probably worse than the Amish. Let's make the unhealthiest vegan cheesesteak we can. Because the Amish will shun you. That looks kind of gross. Ow. But the vegans will talk bad about you on the internet. And that's one tool the Amish ain't got. Thank God. Oh, you fucking vegans are poisoning the tofu. <laughs> Those things look pitiful. <laughs> I think there's nicotine in there. There could be. When in doubt, eat fruit. Sure. Do you know what vegan zombies crave? What? Grains. Get it? <laughs> Tastes like the absolute cheapest, nastiest hot dog that you could ever buy. <sighs> this is what I opened the fridge to. Flank steak. This is what I get to eat. Tofu. My favorite. Are you missing meat today? Yeah. Yeah. This stuff is pretty good. Mmm. Yeah. Not bad, right? Let's eat it. We just looked it up. It is vegan. And my first experience at Starbucks as a vegan. I've heard him say soy latte in the movies, but I didn't know. You know, I just went vegan, and I don't really know what to get. I had to ask for the vegan option, and of course the lady was like, Uh, well, we have coffee. <laughs> uh, well, we have coffee. Show me that vegan thing. So That's what you look for. You did real good at the grocery. I was label looking. A label looker. A label looker loo. You know what Dr. Seuss says about labels. Nothing, he's dead. These guys right here. Today I was gonna make pasta with like sausage in it. Disaster. There was stuff I couldn't see and I peeled the label away. I saw E. And as I peeled it, peeled it away, it was like G. And I was like, oh, please no. There it is. Egg white. It was like a fucking the opposite of a scratch off lotto ticket. And I was like, fuck me. And I was really disappointed I couldn't cook those sausages. Out of my vegan mind. Signing off. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What's this? There's no cheese on there. You wanna see? You yeah. can eat some of it. Doesn't that look good? There's beets, jalapenos, calamanas. Really? I'm fucking starving too. It was bad in there. Really? Yeah, they're eating pizza, cheese is dripping off their chins, throwing peppers, pepperonis around in each other's mouths. It was like, it was like a non-vegan playground in there and no one wanted to play with me. I work at a pizza joint. We make our own dough, we chop our own veggies. I get to, I get to cook, teach 16 year olds how to mop. But really not a lot of people at work there like know what it means to be vegan, really. They know the word and they know it's like vegetarianism, but they don't know what it means to be vegan. They're saying stuff like, so wait, you can't have eggs? I'm like, no, motherfucker, I can't have eggs. Being vegan frightens people. They are all horrified that I'm being a vegan. 
Why do you think that's? Why do you think that puts people off so much? Because it's naturally me. I think we're supposed to eat meat. Bottom line, it's instinct. Just so happens your way is healthier. Does that make it right? You could be as healthy as you are for the rest of your life and out of nowhere just drop dead. I could be that weird grandpa that's perfectly healthy at fucking 90 years old, still smoking cigarettes and eyeing the young chicks and doesn't die till they're 94. You know what I mean? It just, it doesn't matter. Dude, it's a cruel, cruel world. Why, what's up? Because a lifetime dream of mine has happened, has come true. There's a package in there <laughs> with two half pound Reese cups in it. It's this fucking big and it's a full pound of the biggest Reese cup. Oh, look, I'm fucking drooling. I'm drooling because there's a Reese cup in there that's this big. A two half pound cups, that's nine packets of Reese's. Would you eat that in one sitting? Oh, I mean, maybe like two movies. But yeah, I mean, I would be sitting the whole time. Man. Cruel world. Hey, maybe in a month. Since after his only year in college, Max does have some self-destructive habits. And sometimes he delights in those self-destructive habits, or at least wants people to think he's delighting in them. I think he's just, I think, I think the weight is a product of a certain level of sadness that I, that I just think is in him. I think he's very good at pretending that he's okay, and he doesn't always let people know that he's not okay. Max doesn't admit a lot of things. He's an entertainer. <laughs> and probably an excellent liar as well. I was a child actor, so real early I got the sense of pretending and then getting applauded for it. I can tell a lie that I believe. During high school I struggled a lot with knowing who I was because I was I had such a uh, masked demeanor. I, I was, I was, I was two people, and it was, it would get confusing. Sometimes I didn't know if I was more the pretend Max or the real Max. But I have a very different mental projected image of myself than this. I don't want to sit here and go, oh gosh, I wish he was, you know, six feet tall and 180 pounds. He never will be. But anything that he takes on to do to help his overall health, I'm totally supportive of. It's excruciating some days to see him just get down the stairs. You know, that's a lot to carry around. I worry enough that I don't really like to think about it because then I get like this. He has so many people there for him and so many people love him and believe in him. What I want to help with this month is that you regain a little bit of yourself. That's part of this dietary thing and I just wanted to make sure that you know, you know that I got your back. Max has been cooking nothing but basically sauteed veggies and tofu for about two weeks. So I am on my way with a giant grocery bag full of stuff to show him that you can start cooking all kinds of recipes. We're gonna cook black bean burgers and sweet potato fries. Hopefully it will turn him on to some different options that he could potentially do. What we're gonna do first is make the fries. I brought all my seasonings and stuff because I didn't know what you had. I wanted to make sure that we had exactly how I make these. What you wanted, yeah. Dude, this stuff tastes like fish food. No, it doesn't. It does. It's so good. It's It smells like it, too. It is a... <laughs> it's fish food. 
It's nutritional yeast. He seasons stuff with it for when he wants stuff to taste like fish food. Do you have a, a Tori Hanzo sword? No. You're just cutting them like that? Oh, you're killing me. That's a sharp ass knife, bro. I'm gonna hit your finger instead of like your like knife. that? Yeah. Did you already put the oil in there? I did. I put about a half a half a tablespoon. Yeah. These are these are pretty fresh. I flip them over so the skins are down. We should spread them out, actually, too. A little more? Yeah. The more space they have around them, the better it'll, it'll Eat more out. even? Yeah, you get more of a roast and less of a steam if they're not okay, touching. You want some of those garlic? Yeah. How many? Two cloves? Uh, two cloves, yeah, and just kind of press it. And What'd you just do? Smashed it. All right. This is just a pinch of salt. You use it as an abrasive. Give me a little sliced minced beet action. You are a mincing master. You know there's a difference between mincing and dicing, right? No. <laughs> this has some really essential stuff in it. Vitamin B12 is the one thing that is overlooked by vegans, and it's the only thing that's not derived from plant, so you have to like, you know, supplement it so it's added and... I just have a strip or two of bacon every day. Bef yeah. You smell that? It smells like cheese. I think that smells like cheese. It's been a while since you've eaten some cheese, bro. They already smell pretty good. Better believe it. In my opinion, we're looking we're looking mighty fine here. Yeah. Ding. It's not bad. Pretty good. Definitely that whipped tofu would give it a little bite, or maybe some shrooms. But they got good texture. Mm-hmm. Who told you to tell me? Who told you to ask that? No one. I mean, it's nothing really big. He never talks about our dad. They're the exact same. They're both a little bit that like all or nothing. Um, maybe a little ang angry and a little sad. A lot of my personality and humor kind of comes from him. I love my dad. I was in fourth grade when my parents got divorced, so Max was a freshman. I think I saw it coming. Um, and it was better for both of them. I mean, I'm sure it was. I think people try to force that divorce on me as a catalyst for mental unrest, but I don't really feel like it was, to tell you the truth. I think right after the divorce, they stayed pretty close up until maybe Max's graduation from high school. And we'd go camping and stuff, and I would go over there like once or twice a week. 
and uh, he moved to Florida, and I wasn't uh, corresponding with him as much as he wanted. How long has it been since you talked to him? Four or five years, maybe. You know, if I bring you into that fold of, of friendship and people that I've been, you know, like friends with for 25 years or, or like family, uh, you're, you're there, you're part of me. But if you're dismissed from that, whether your own exit or I dismiss you, it's complete cut off. Like they're not even there, they never existed. A lot of things in my life I, I, I kind of do the wrong way, but I justify them in my head somehow that works to me to fit my set of principles, you know, my standardized principles. I often say I live my life based off spite. I don't know why I enjoy that. Tim says that I would cut off my nose to spite my face. My brother and I would joke sometimes that the only way to get Max to do something healthy was to tell him not to do that. If you wanted to tell him, for example, he needs to be healthy or he's going to die, then he'll say, well, I'll show you, I'm going to die. We're heading to the nutritionist and uh, uh, we're, we're going to... We're gonna, you know, I think tell each other's, uh, tell each other our theories on nutrition. Maybe I'll teach him a thing or two. Hi. Max, I'm Dr. Supley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the office. Come on back. All right. Talk a little bit about I've been vegan now for <clears throat> six days. I'm probably lost a couple pounds. Okay. I think the process has probably started. You know, you can't. I can't really feel it, you know? Right. I don't feel much different right now. Okay. Your ability to get rid of toxins is very individualized. The, the food you've been eating is information, it's told your genes to store fat, dysregulate your blood sugar, elevate your cholesterol, make you big around the middle, change your brain chemistry. All of that is by design. Your body has done exactly what you've told it to do, mm -hmm. okay? One of the things that I, I learned a long time ago as I got into healthcare was 90% of the healthcare dollar is spent on one thing, very expensive dying. Waiting until you're in crisis, it's a catastrophe, and then going into the hospital, hoping they can piece you back together and extend your life. This has never been about health for me. You're facing diabetes, damage to your nerves and your arteries, you lose limbs, you can go blind, you can have kidney disease. I can't remember the last time I was at the doctor's. Decades. The inflammation from that condition results in irritation arteries so they start blocking up. I love Max and I want to stick around. He's probably like my favorite person. I'm sure I'll be cooking a pound of bacon a month from now. Now you have cardiovascular disease. Your brain's being damaged. Alzheimer's. You're physically not able to do the things you want to do. It's not really living. It's just slowly dying. And the world would definitely be less of a place without my brother in it. I mean, I wouldn't want to have children if he wasn't around because it'd be awful for them not to know him. He's really spectacular. But I've kind of been getting ready for that for the better part of my life. You watch what he eats um, and then what he says and how does he look afterwards and is he breathing heavy and can he fit in this chair? and. If we lose him, how do I tell my mom and how do I tell my dad and who's going to take care of what logistically, which is a fucked up thing to think about. You know, you have the plan ready. Honestly, when I look back, you know, maybe I should have done more. I drank apple juice all the time and I thought it was healthy. No cookies, no sweets. We always had skim milk. Made baby food for him. Probably for like two months. And then, all oh, this is ridiculous. I'll just buy it for 40 cents. I thought I was being the good mom. I wish I had just have paid better attention when he was growing up. I really did. 
It's my biggest regret. I feel like in a situation like on Biggest Loser, some of those people obviously are hiding something and eating their way out of their, you know, personal problems or something. I don't know if that's the case with me. I don't feel like I have this giant burden of, of hiding or like a, you know, this, this blanket I hide under the, to, you know, to hide my heartbreak or something. Coming home from Columbia was really tough for him. I don't think he necessarily wanted to not go back to school. There was a money issue. At the same time, that was when Brandy broke up with him. So he had two pretty serious body blows right when he came home. He got really bad and he wasn't talking to anyone. I'm not even sure if he was paying rent at that point. He was just living with friends and they were kind of letting him. He was in their basement and he just like wouldn't even come up. And I said, Max needs help. I didn't realize that making Bong of the Living Dead was my life goal until just a few years ago. So I didn't really have any focus and I was uh, flailing for a long time. Slow death is pretty much what I was after. Through filmmaking and, and writing and finding my place in, and in community, I've just slowed down my fall and kind of clung to the wall and I'm now climbing back up, you know, with, with determination and a goal in mind. Now I know where I need to climb. Now I've got some focus. You know, about the time we're 40, the health line of individuals seems to decline. By the time they're 60, most people in America have chronic disease. So they're gonna live with that chronic disease for the next 20 years. If you change your lifestyle, you, you follow through with this uh, you know, vegan diet, and you get some exercise, and okay, you do some stress reduction, all the science is pointing to the fact that you can take these genes and you can tell them, I can go back to having normal body composition. And you can go back to doing that. Just step, he's just bring that knee up a little bit. There you go, That's and then replace. Down. Yeah, place we're at right now, Bishop Waterson High School. Um, I'm the head strength coach here. Small, I want him small. I take all the sports teams and strength conditioning, basically get them stronger, get them healthier. Okay, stop. You know, when Max came to me, obviously I've known him forever uh, since kindergarten, and um, I'll do anything with Max. So, L love the guy. Breathe. I'm tired. I woke up starving. On a normal day, I'd probably just go drive somewhere and get like a massive meal, get like Chinese food or get a big steak and cheese sub or something and pound it and watch a movie and not really even be ready to start my day till like late afternoon. But I'd smoke a cigarette and go on a walk. I do have to start getting in shape for a bong of the dead, because filming a movie, you got to be able to physically handle it. I want my body to give out. Ugh. I have sensitive nipples. pounds. What's the max on the scale? 440. A week ago, yeah, it was over. So... You lost about 10 pounds. Probably. 
It was a long day, man. Long day. I mean, we were filming all day. It was a long day. And then I got home and I wanted to throw that stuff and marinades the tofu and use that. So I was vlogging that. It smells like peace. Oh my God, Justin's gonna kill me. Horribly unhealthy. Probably incredibly delicious. When I stopped to get gas, I got a bag of Swedish fish because they're vegan. Swedish fish. I had uh, some root beer here, so I was like, mm. But out of nowhere, a little health demon inside of me said, isn't that a lot of sugar to end your day with? Hanging out with Justin, he would call that a sugar bomb. So I replaced this without even thinking about it with this. That doesn't usually happen, so it's a weird thing. I documented it. That was pretty much the first decision based on like health that I'd ever made. And I was like, wait, I better vlog this. I better document like Max's first health decision in his life which was something as simple as not drinking a root beer that now I really want to drink, and, and, I, and I may. Good morning. What's, what is so significant about today? Any calendar will tell you it's Thanksgiving, also known as Turkey Day. Not for this guy. I'm vegan. I'm completely vegan. Going to Whole Foods, we're gonna go check some tofurkey out. Well? Yeah. Let's go. Well, the last couple years, my family always goes to Kentucky and I've had to work. So instead of having poultry, with friends and family, I eat red meat by myself. It's already stuffed. What? Brown rice, whole wheat bread, onion, celery, water. I'm gonna subject my friends and family to a tofu turkey ball. It looks weird, right? Tofurkey. Gross. It's like the Thanksgiving for Lost Boys. We'll give it a whirl. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It's a little difficult because uh, if you think about it, people at home with your turkey dinners, like none of it's vegan. Everything's got at least butter or chicken broth or, you know, some sort of cheese or something in it where it's not just the turkey, it's literally like the whole meal. But it's really weird that we take vegetables, and process them up, try and imitate dead flesh. That's weird. If you were like in a survival situation, lost in the middle of the woods, would you eat meat then if someone like killed a deer? Absolutely. Would you drink its blood? No. What's, is it stuffed already? Yeah. Oh, Lordy. It's one big turkey, bro. <laughs> oh my god, one is leaking. It's literally it's oozing paste out of the end. Yeah. Oh. Okay, but yet pulling animal gizzards out. That drippage is grosser to me than pulling out the f fucking guts out of a rib cage of a raw turkey. How, how's that? I don't know, man. Uh. Yeah, so try not to cut into the side of it. So keep, you know what I mean? Keep it as loafy as possible. I'm going to use scissors, maybe. Oh, it smells bad. But that's, that, that's all that is, is vegetable right there. Yeah, it looks like it's already been eaten. I don't want to eat any of this, bro. I don't know if I could do it. Really? Oh. Dude, don't. Like. Come on, I got it. Here, take a breather. Whew. Is it really making you gag? Yeah, much? it's bad. Did it have some water? Yeah. I might have to go upstairs. Go ahead if you need to. Fucking toe man. <laughs> oh.
Oh, too burgy. Ugh. Why? Ugh. I might be alright. Oh, gross. Ugh. Oh, this is real life. This is real life. Oh. oh man, I feel great. Ooh. Um, happy, you... happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Better. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll prep on that. So, I mean, will you try it even after all this? No. Then you're a trooper. I'll try it. Alright. We get one where the Tofurky and I just found out I have cancer. Happy <sighs> <laughs> Don't let Justin see. How much did you just put in there? Just a little. Yeah, okay. Just a little more. He's... You're tired. Did you taste those? Yeah. Did it taste any different? It Worse? tasted like it was missing butter and cream. <laughs> Every point I make, you punch it. King? I just punch it and bring nuts. it down a notch. <laughs> Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving. In the tradition of the pilgrim and those that came before us, we're going to cut these wonderful tofurkeys. The taste of this can't be beat. I've eaten some weird oh, stuff, so this right might not be that bad. It's the loaf that throws you. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Get a good piece and save the neck for me. <laughs> yeah. I like it. And the stuffing is good. No, I don't like that. I do not like that. So what's up? Just waking up. Day 27? Whoa. 27 days. I don't even feel vegan though, bro. Do you? Feel about you? <laughs> no, do about you? Myself? Do you feel vegan? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I only scratched the surface of being vegan. What does that mean? I don't feel vegan at all. I didn't even fuck with grains at all, you know? I don't know why you would think, in a, in, you know, you can't just go to culinary school for a month and know everything about cooking, so. I might have to do it a little longer. I think you're gonna have to just follow me around for a year. <laughs> Please, no. No. <laughs> Downward slope. I am losing some weight though, because none of my my pants are not fitting right. 
That's great. That's good. Yeah, I was at 423 today. Congrats, dude. Thanks, bud. That's, that's awesome. I, I, I think the next big test will be this cabin trip because traditionally the cabin is just about meat and I usually do a lot of cooking and cook tons of meat, like eggs, meat. I mean, we go crazy. Plus, the cabin is a spot where you just let your inhibitions go. And if there was anywhere to cheat or to falter in anything in life, it's at the cabin. I'm gonna have to pack my own vegan chili, maybe a potato. So we'll see. you in there, big guy? Oh, yeah. Hoping it doesn't rain, because this is my shelter tonight. I've had three burgers and some salt pork already, and I brought some bratwurst, a couple packs of bratwurst, a two-pound steak, got some more burgers out, out there to eat, and for the morning, I got uh, a bunch of fresh, good applewood smoked bacon, and then just some uh, breakfast sausages, too. So meat with a side of meat with a meat side with of Meat with a side of meat, yeah. The type of bird. I just want to make sure. What is that, Max? Taters. Vegan taters. Yeah. What cut did you get? What steak? It's a sirloin. How many ounces is that bad boy? It is 1.64. All right. Ooh, Ooh, dead. Dead. I used to be a raw man. I used to cook it for like two minutes. I know. It just tastes better. You're getting more for your buck. You're tasting the meat, what? not the dirt. Taste the meat, not the heat. steak car Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got some vegan burgers I'm going to throw on there. <laughs> yep. This is what I'm going to eat it off of. Yes. And we're all going to watch you. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna sound like this. Max, what was in that burger? What burger? The ones he just put on. Like beans and... That was, like, it was, it, the texture wasn't like smooth. No, it's like vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It looks as gross as fast food. So it's done. There's a lot of blood. So they say. So they say. Oh, that's fucking yeah. animalistic right there. <laughs> Infrared heat. How is it? So, <laughs> is it like a sponge? A is it spongy? Yeah. Do you want to try one? You put any mustard on this? Mmm. Tastes like soup. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. Not it is. Bad. Not bad. You want the last bite? No, you can it. Would you guys ever eat that in replace of meat? <laughs> Not in replace of it, but on top of a hamburger. Yes, I did have some of the chicken, but I had it like half an hour later. How's the chili? I think we were talking about something um, like that. Oh, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Anything Max makes is delicious. We watched three movies so. that night. Make a little bit. It's the only official one. Well, let's cook these soy dogs. Put them on, baby. Not eating meat. 
for 30 days might not be a, a big deal to some people, but for myself and people that know me, that's a big deal because, you know, part of what I'm known for is eating lots of meat, eating unhealthy. <laughs> Don't you, it, it tastes weird? Yeah. Do you think it tastes good? No. Okay. <laughs> Being the fat guy, you, you always kind of grasp onto that, you know, kind of dictates part of your personality. You embrace that probably from a young age, you know, as a defensive mechanism, but it really does become part of who, who you are. I think the weight has somehow become a part of his identity. Not just like a physical thing, but he's the big funny one, you know, he's the big guy. Sometimes I think he's worried to let that go. I think he worries that he won't be Max, which is sad and so not true. Craving tofu. I'm about to pig out. I really want to cook up some tofu and make like a Chinese stir fry. Just the noodles, not the beef packet. Not with chicken or steak, but with fucking tofu. Mm, tofu. They're putting something in the tofu, I think. Because oh. why else would I be craving tofu? I'm going to eat this whole thing. I'm changing. I'm changing. I think Max didn't necessarily want to be so unhealthy. He just didn't know where to start as far as what to eat, what not to eat, and covers that up with, well, this is what I want to be doing. And I think this, this veganness has really given him a framework, a, a starting point and a framework to really think about what he's putting in his body and really be able to make more healthy decisions and still enjoy eating food. It's a perfect way of life for him, being that he enjoys cooking, he knows how to cook. There's no complaining about knees and ankles and feet, and so that's what I want him to continue. I would like to see him eventually start writing down these recipes and be a role model for other people. You know, I think there's a good many people out there like him. John Belushi, John Candy, you know, I just can't imagine that happening to Max, but yet I know that it can. It would be very hard. Yeah, he's the love of my life. I think it would be good for him to stay vegan permanently. You know, it'll take a while, I think, to get healthier. He's done such a good job. You know, and I'd just like to see him keep it up. Chef Goldblum. Dude, what day is it today? Last day, bro. Last day. Last day. It's the last day, and yet I bought a week's worth of vegan groceries last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Looks like some unhappy vegan's gonna be really sad when I throw it all in the trash at midnight tonight. Is this real sausage? You starting early? Yeah. Real sausage. I got uh, platypus eggs. It's a rare mammal. It's a rare mammal, and they mistreat the fuck out of them. What are you gonna make? I just want to make like a pretty simple, gigantic three-pound bacon cheeseburger. Oh, that's easy. Any fries with that, or just straight meat? 
I'll put a little fries. Maybe I'll have to cook those in bacon grease or something. Oh my god, that's a good idea. I'm gonna put a fried egg on top of that burger too. Are you? Yep, and maybe a Boca vegan burger. You're salivating. Was that drool? Yeah. Pardon my drool. You're ready for it. I am ready. Look at all this. We got we got veggies there. We got. Duh. Yeah, can I, uh, can you direct me to the stuff that's not vegan, please? We're gonna look in the bun section. How's this bun section? <laughs> Let's find the most offensive buns we can. How about these? Heart healthy? Wait, one of those has 110 calories? Yeah, what's that, 240? 160? All right, let's find better. Right here. No, I mean, like, better as in worse. <laughs> no one meat. That's a thing we've been getting away from. You're making me feel really guilty. You shouldn't. I'm sorry. You're right. I just want to eat some like, meat. You were unbelievably intelligent. I just want to eat the meat. You need to eat meat. Boom. What's up, bro? Just buying meat? Justin's really angry, too. He's like the dad that was like, you can go to college wherever you want, sweetie. I just wanted you closer to home. And then the the daughter's like going to visit Florida State and fucking loves it. And the dad's like behind, loving he's going to lose his little baby. Look at him back there, pout. He doesn't even want to come up here. There she is. Hey, baby. What's up? Love it. Love it. Dude, remember those Reese cups at the gas station? The them? Yeah. Oh. Oh. You found them here. Yeah. I just want to hollow one of those out and fill it with ice cream. Then eat the ice cream. I mean, I love the bowl. Car. It's 11 exactly? Yeah. I got one hour. How you feel? I feel great. It's the first time in the month that I've actually felt being vegan made a difference. <laughs> oh. oh, it feels so good. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yeah, that's really thick. Yeah. How's it oh, looking? Man, who cares? Smell it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, you just flipped out onto your cheese there. Right there, my hands aren't washed, so I'm not gonna pick it up. Yeah. No, you didn't. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. This guy. Never cease to amaze. Wait a minute. Spit it out. Yeah, you have 24 minutes. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Me neither, dude. Me neither. Wow. Almost didn't make it. Because you almost ate raw meat. So oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you feel so good. That's about the size of a No, it's not. Are you serious? Time to think I need a bigger boat. Oh, I got the food sweats going. Oops. So good. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> so much beef. Oh, those are some big old burgers. You can do, do double cheeseburgers on that thing? Do I'm not going to do a double with this baby. Native Americans used to wash themselves with smoke. <laughs> Look at all this. The whole neighborhood knows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Let's 
Let's get this fucking party started. <laughs> Officially not vegan. <laughs> Last month right now, I I would I would quit meat again for a month just to eat that burger again. <laughs> oh my god! Look at my fingers. Oh, I want to put up my butthole. <laughs> oh, you did good. You want some? Uh, no, but I'm proud of you. That was give me good. a kiss. Give us a give us a kiss. <laughs> Not on your lips. <laughs> no, I'll do on your cheek. Don't. There's probably grease there. <laughs> I, was, I wanted it, and then I didn't know. <laughs> that case isn't vegan. It's not vegan. Not tonight. Not tonight. You going for round two? I am. I'm going to smoke a cigarette, because I feel like I just got fucked. <laughs> and then I'm going to go eat another burger. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still chewing. torn up from that that meat day the next day I woke up and I felt like shit bro ate vegan for breakfast it really motivated me just how shitty I felt I kind of decided on the second there that I was just gonna I was just gonna stick with it I'm gonna stay vegan I think until Christmas day you know, the goal all along was through the month of November. I think he did a remarkable job. I'm hoping he kind of gets back into it. So you're going to do this for another 25 days? 20, 21 now. Because you've already been doing it. Christmas is three weeks you away. Did this, you did this without even telling me. I did it on my own. You did it for you. This month is almost to, uh, this, this month is the challenge, I feel like. If I do something based off of spite, it's not a challenge, it's a given. But if I'm doing something to better myself, that's a fucking challenge, bro. You got your way, you won. I didn't, I mean. You won. <laughs> you won. I was strictly like, I'm gonna do this month and be perfect at it, and then that little, ve his little vegan ass is gonna be so pissed when I just start pounding bacon every day. And I don't want to. So this experiment, I mean, is kind of a home run then. It's a hefty triple. All right, it's a home run.
I, don't know, I just think it's really cool. I'm, I'm really glad that you did this with me and that you allowed me to, to, to film this whole thing. I, I just, I don't know. I have a big respect for you, so it's really cool. Look for next month's documentary where Justin will go non-vegan and I will follow him around with a camera for a month and I will wire him up. What are we gonna call it? It's gonna be called E-I-E-I-O. Or it should be called like E-I-E-I-O, my God. <laughs>